What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cosmats Wrestling Recap. Let's get right into a very entertaining episode of Monday Night Raw. What do you think of the show, Matthew? You always start the video off the same exact way every week. You know what? I love that. And the reason I love that is just because Raw, man. All right? It got me pumped up. It was. It got me pumped show. up for 90 Champions. And what is that? Two weeks away? So not this Saturday, next Saturday, I think. We have a stacked card for not just Raw tonight, but for Clash of Champions. And the way that they're just booking these storylines ahead of the pay-per-view they're doing them so well you know what i mean and they're incorporating new talent into everything and that's what i like and that's what the draft means and i think it's safe to say let's open up the show with the undisputed w tag team champions kevin owens and Sami Zayn. let me just say when are they going to finally get these things off their shoulders and or, or not even that but when are they going to swap the titles and just be like okay tag team championships i'm tired of the undisputed blah 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 whatever it is what it is Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, they're actually interrupted by the Judgment Day, uh, Domino Stereo, Rhea Ripley, Finn Balor, and uh, Damian Priest. There was just passion and frustration kind of by both Owens and Sami Zayn. They're tired of talking. They just want to fight. And the Judgment Day, they come out, you know, kind of letting their emotions get the best of them. What actually happened here? So so you said that the Judgment Day, they attacked Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn and Rhea Ripley slapped Kevin Owens. Oh, gave him a hard punch right oh, to the man. face, man. It was great. An excellent way to kick off the show. Got the crowd hot and on their feet. Nobody messes with mommy's family, man. And they were all ready to go. What did this do? This actually set up a main our, for our main event, uh, Judgment Day versus Damien Priest and Finn Balor versus KO and Sammy, right? Yes, So we'll get, we'll get to that later on. And honestly, I think that main event was probably one of the best main events of all time. And we'll explain that in just a little bit. So stay tuned for that. But honestly, I think that was one of the best main events we've gotten in maybe over a decade. Totally being completely honest. So the way that they opened up the next segment, it was actually a Shinsuke Nakamura and The Miz one-on-one -on -one action. I heard just a few weeks ago, I didn't actually watch, but it was an episode of Miz TV with Shinsuke and Miz, and it just was horrible. And you know what? I was kind of hoping it spices things up a little bit after that, receiving the bad, the the feedback from the, from the show prior. But the match actually was pretty good, you know? I, I, I just wish they gave us a little bit more, right? So Miz with his shenanigans and little eye rake to Shinsuke and a skull crushing finale didn't end up doing it. Shinsuke got the the three count with a, with a keen shasa. Right call for him to defeat the Miz though. Oh yeah, proper build up. I could mm. see these two fighting at Night of Champions. It would be a great match, and it was a phenomenal match tonight. Just two veterans going at it, having some close moments in yep. the match, and I thought it was great. Yeah, absolutely. It was it was it was definitely a good match, and and the way that they kept the show going and rolling was was awesome. So, what actually happened? I think it was a backstage segment. I'm also looking up now too. Adam Pierce revealing to half the women's tag team champions uh, Raquel Rodriguez that Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville, the scheduled women's tag team match, is off due to an injury suffered by Liv Morgan. So it's actually going to be Raquel Rodriguez versus Chelsea Green. So that happened on later in the night, but we'll get to that. The next segment was was a good one. All right, number one contendership battle royale determined the next uh, challenger for for Gunther's in, Intercontinental uh, Champion. So Gunther making his Raw debut tonight that was awesome, right? It, it was it was cool. So I, what was it? It was it was Apollo Cruz, Riddle, Bronson Reed, who definitely made an impact on on his career tonight. Who else? Mustafa, Ricochet. Oh, what about um JD McDonough? It was Zion a great and match. Von Wagner. Good. Young competitors trying JD to McDonough, him. man, and the yeah. way they're 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 setting him up on this show is, is pretty cool. We'll we'll get to that later on. Hard hitting matchup. All right. So the person who actually won this match was was Mustafa Ali. So a whole challenge going throughout Night of Champions. Man, I'll give that an A. I cannot wait for that match. But McDonough, he just brutalized Dolph Ziggler, and that would actually be a cool rivalry, the way that they're they're actually building this up, hopefully. So, you know, they're both very skilled competitors, nonetheless. Absolutely. I thought this was a great match. The winner was somewhat unexpected by me, but way to go, Mustafa mm -hmm. Ali. He's been picking up some momentum as of late on Monday Night Raw, and uh, I think he's going to put on a great match with Gunther at Night of Champions. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm hoping. And you know what? Speak about a great match. Nonetheless, all the matches are great for Night of Champions. Let's talk about our next match. Excuse me. Becky Lynch out next with a nice promo claiming that Trish Stratus has kind of rekindled a fire in here that shit we haven't seen for, for quite some time. A nice promo, basically, by by Becky Lynch. It was just her out in the ring, and it it was cool. Everybody was behind it, but it's it's a huge match between these two. Let's be honest here, you know. But 
they have another week to build it. But nonetheless, I mean, I'm I'm still excited for it. You know, I just wish there was a little more a little more time put into it. But it it, it was cool. You know, Lynch kind of telling the story of being overwhelmed and reaching out to Lita and Trish Stratus that that, that they later on betrayed. Um, she actually, I think, what I was reading online too, the the back snapping snake that she is. Becky Lynch said, I think about mm-hmm. Trish. So you know, she's making this personal, but I'm I'm here and I'm I'm pumped for it. Oh, they're having a great back and forth Twitter exchange. If you don't follow them on Twitter, it's a it's a who it really is. Uh, Trish making fun of Becky on Mother's Day it was hilarious. Yeah, but this match is certainly turning into a very competitive rivalry, and I cannot wait to see it come to its end. Yeah. So what actually happened next? It was uh, I think it was Rhea Ripley who comes down the ramp to SmackDown Women's Champion. Rhea Ripley comes down, basically kind of watching Becky Lynch go back to Gorilla. So kind of hitting out, hopefully maybe an eventual uh, showdown between them. But um, actually, before she left, just a few words of warning to, to Natalia. <laughs> Returning Natalia, I think it was, to Monday Night Raw. So we'll see. I think they're going to have hopefully a banger at Night of Champions, Natalia and Rhea Ripley. I'm not up for it, but nonetheless, I mean, give them spotlight. You know what I mean? Are they eventually going to make this yeah. title swap, though? That's what we all want to see. It's kind of yeah. weird having the SmackDown Women's Champion. I think they got something up their sleeve, not going to lie. I do. I don't know. Natalia win the championship. That would be yeah. weird, but I don't know. Yeah. I'm 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 curious. I, I really am. So our next matchup, actually a pretty decent match, you know. I mean, Mysterio wasn't the best here. It's just Xavier Woods that that's just really entertaining me. It was Dominic Mysterio out against Xavier Woods half of the new day. Mysterio took the W here. I think it was Rear Ripley at ringside, kind of a nice well-timed interference, allowing Dominic to score a victory. Um, Judgment Day, I mean, they're looking good. Woods taking the L, it didn't hurt him, but there was something Woods said. He said, I don't have anyone watching my back, dot, 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 yet, basically, is what it what it sounded like. So hopefully a return for Kofi Kingston and Big E. I don't I don't know. I mean, New Day versus a Judgment Day, that would that would be dope. Oh, absolutely. That would be an incredible rivalry, and I would be here to see it. Hopefully, Xavier mm-hmm. Woods gets some backup soon, but I love that they're putting him in some single spotlight for sure. Yeah. Yep. I hope so. Single spotlight. Let's talk about, oh man, I'm just not feeling it. Tag team spotlight. So, uh, all right. Two young competitors taking on basically two jobbers taking on Indus, Indus share the, the two, the two compliances. What was it? Veer and Shanky alongside Jinder Mahal as their manager. Oh, yeah. Them taking on local talent. They just kind of squashed them on uh, Jinder Mahal, making a statement on commentary and then throughout the arena to all the fans. I don't really care that they're basically taking over raw. Cool, go ahead. I'd rather watch uh I'd rather watch paint dry nonetheless. Um but what actually don't have to happen? Gender. Mm. Uh, don't hinder gender. Uh enough with that. <laughs> enough, enough with that. The way that they opened up the next segment though, they they creep to to a commercial break, but it was actually Cody Rhodes getting out of his camper trailer. That thing was dope, but he's out for for basically more speaking revenge with Brock Lesnar. Basically a five star promo, you know? It was it was so so good. Basically just taking jabs at Lesnar's ego, you know, saying you're you're not the best, next big thing. You're just in my way, blah, blah, blah. The crowd was feeling it. I was feeling it. And I just was pumped listening to this. And I cannot wait for this other matchup. Excuse me, the second matchup um, at Night of Champions. Oh, absolutely. I'm very excited to see how this thing is going to end between Brock Lesnar and Cody Rhodes. Is it going to be mm-hmm. another clean win for Cody? Is there going to be some shenanigans up uh, Brock Lesnar's sleeve? We'll have to wait and see. But yeah. The net just continued to keep on rolling, bringing us right uh, some awesome action. Oh, it, it, it was cool. It was cool. And you know what? I was hoping for more of it, but it was actually Raquel Rodriguez versus Chelsea Green, which happened later on in the night. We were supposed to have a women's tag match. Ended up being a one-on-one. Raquel versus Chelsea. Chelsea was awesome here, you know? I mean, she's just so fun. Liv Morgan was there to back her up. Um, Excuse me. But without Liv Morgan there to back her up, she actually was sneak attacked by a returning Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. So we got a nice win by Rodriguez defeating Green Clean. But without Liv Morgan on Rodriguez's side after the W, I th- yeah, I'm surprised. We we saw Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler come out of nowhere and just attack Rodriguez, who's celebrating after her win against Green. But you know what? Cool. They, they'll hopefully add some spice to the women's division, but hopefully they do it right this time, Rousey and, and Shayna. Absolutely. You know what? They're two big names that could definitely boost up that women's tag team division. And ho- like you mm-hmm. said, hopefully they do it right. And uh, I'm excited to see what that division has to offer with some new teams getting introduced because of the draft. Yeah, absolutely. 
Absolutely. You know, I hope Chelsea Green, they give her a little more, you know, like like she kind of feels lost, honestly, you know. But they'll use her hopefully for something good, unless they bring Zack Ryder back. But I doubt that. Chelsea right. Green, future women's champion. I'm yes. calling her here right now. Future women's champion. Let's talk about our next, our next, oh man, our future world heavyweight champion, basically. Seth Rollins being conducted by an interview. Excuse me, Corey Graves conducting an interview with Seth Rollins backstage a week and a half away before their championship. Him and AJ Styles one on one for the new WWE World Heavyweight Championship at Clash of Champions. I'm so pumped about it. Rollins basically oh, spoke. He, it, it was a cool interview. Rollins basically just was spitting everything out like everything that we wanted to hear Rollins speaking about the split of the shield then the topic turned to roman reigns and the championship and then before uh ending on a cliffhanger with a tease of part two for next week's show but Rollins is basically saying he's, he's gonna elevate this he's gonna do what basically nobody's doing they're here to win championships and they're trying to secure themselves but sets he's taking it to another level so we know he's gonna defeat aj and become the new world champion at uh clash of champions and we're gonna have a crazy defending world heavyweight champion on our hands oh man Basically, hell, he was saying in that promo he'll probably defend it each and every week Seth oh. is an animal man he that's why he's one of my favorites he's there for the people and he's going to defend that championship every week it was good that was it, it was really good and i'm i'm just so pumped for it i, I really am but uh yeah i don't know it's just new blood into our veins after after, after wrestlemania and this draft it's, it's just everything's starting to feel good you know what i mean everything's starting to make sense a little bit and the way that they're booking it it's triple h gotta love them um well, well, good so, though let's move right into our main event man Here saga continues Sami Zayn and kevin owens versus judgment day which is what is it damian priest and finn balor so the way that i want to bring upon this is that they're allowing imperium into the storyline and i've been hoping for a new team to kind of mesh into the storyline and the way that they're doing it is perfect, right? So a nice uh, two-on-two matchup, Sami Zayn and KO versus Finn and Damian. Match was phenomenal until Imperium actually comes up and they actually cost Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens a match helping. I think Finn Balor hit a coup de gras or something like that onto Kevin Owens. But Imperium, them kind of helping out with the bloodline business, Paul Heyman teasing in the back, not once, but then coming out towards the main event, as Imperium came out, talking on the phone, basically on his little smartphone, and we kept hearing him say, Tribal Chief, yes, Tribal Chief. You, you could hear him, and you could also um, see him lip lip talk, talking lips if you couldn't hear him because you we were focusing on the match. But I don't know, though. The way that they're putting Imperium into this is pretty cool, but I know we're going to get KO and Sami Zayn versus Roman and Solo at Night of Champions, but they're doing something with Imperium, and I think they got something else up the sleeve because they wouldn't just put him in there for the heck of it. I think I think something else is going on more with this, and I'm pumped to rip out. This, his booking right now is just hallmark action. It's it's phenomenal. Oh, absolutely. You know what? Triple H has always got something up his sleeves. The way this thing ended tonight gave us a lot of questions mm -hmm. heading into Night of Champions. Like you said, about only two weeks away. So we're going to have to wait and see, man. And you know what I want to I want to get on, especially Gunther actually help, help holding down Zane's foot with the refs with the ref distracted by Imperium, Gucci and Kaiser. Excuse me, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser. So we actually saw Imperium backstage before this matchup with against Kev, with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Um, but KO and Sami, they're tired of talking. Basically, they're they're done talking to Imperium. It's they're they're new on the show, blah, blah, blah that they're going to have a, a partner of their choosing next week because the Imperium wants to match with them. They're, they're, they're also done talking and they want to fight. So I don't know who their, uh, who their partner of choosing is going to be. That's going to be interesting, but a good way to keep us hooked for sure. Absolutely. Definitely a great way to end the night. Like you said, it's mm -hmm. going to be interesting to see who their partner is going to be next week. Cosmet will yeah. definitely have you guys covered of that next week. And we will also have a SmackDown recap for you on Saturday until then. Peace out. Good night. Well, good morning. How about that? Peace. Whenever you guys are watching this, have a good day. Peace. This has been Cosmet. Thanks for watching.